All right, Warriors, I'm full of video today. This is video number three, but I wanted to get this out to you guys because there hasn't been a lot of information on the XR XRP lawsuit in Ripple. So I'm Coach Shavy, the top health and mindset coach in the world. What you believe in your heart, that's not your heart. What you believe in your heart, you think in your mind will eventually become your words and become your reality. I'm the guy who teaches you games so you can't be played. And as you look at this way at a pandemic, there's a whole nother narrative going that way. Now the people that control the monetary system, control the information, can control the people. So we just teach you the game. We give you a fishing pole to teach you how to fish. If you give a man a fish, they eat for a day. You give a man a fishing pole or teach him how to fish, they fish for a lifetime. And also, also, I just heard today, if you teach a man or woman how to farm, they can feed a nation. Hoo-wee! It's from one of my warriors. All right, guys, so we're going to jump right into it. So it's going to be a short video, uh, but some updates out there. So it came out about two hours ago. Uh, Ripple's first court response to the SEC XRP lawsuit. Now, I'm going to read this out to you guys. Now, one thing I'm going to share with you guys is I've been saying this for a very long time. You can go back through my videos. I'm a fundamental investor. I've always had a weird feeling. I'm not against Bitcoin. I've always had a weird feeling about get Bitcoin. Anything that I don't know who the freaking owner is, I feel really uncomfortable putting my money in. I have a very little amount of Bitcoin. I took my profits and I bought into a company just recently. I have a very little amount of Bitcoin. I'm mostly in Ethereum and going into other altcoins. So not that I'm against Bitcoin. I think it's going to moon. I think it's going to go through its whole process. But there's something going on behind the scenes, Warriors. And like I said... The people who control the money, control the information, control the people. The 1% are doing something different than what we're doing. The GameStop thing was a big piece, Warriors. That is going to rush in regulation. The XRP lawsuit is going to usher in massive amounts of regulation. I told you guys that this is the political theater and narrative to bring in massive amounts of regulation to the crypto space. And a lot of people are going to get hurt. I believe that. So if you don't know what you're doing, if you're not a fundamental investor and you're not smart with your crypto, you could get hurt in the space. So don't FOMO in, FOMO out, listen to hot tips, understand the company you're invested in. That's how I do my investments. Okay, so when I said, when the SEC lawsuit came in, I have 500 warriors in my academy, they're reaching out, what should I do? I said, I ain't doing nothing. I accumulated more until they took it off or delisted it. Also, I found out from my warriors, you can still buy in America on Uphold, you can still buy XRP. The CEO said he is not delisting XRP because he believes it's a currency. So I'm going to read this. This is hot news out there. This just came out January 29, 2021 at 1 12 p.m. Eastern time. It's a two minute read. I don't know why I just read that, but I'm going to read it to you guys. So Ripple files core response to the SEC XRP lawsuit. Now, let me share with you what's about to happen and what I said. I said that this lawsuit was the catalyst to usher in massive amounts of regulation. I also said that all the bad actors in the cryptocurrency space are going to get wiped out. That's why you want to stay with fundamental coins. All these FUD things going on with, you know, is Dogecoin going to go up again? Yeah, probably. People are like, it's going to go to a dollar to ten. It's not going to go to a dollar or ten dollars. Probably very unlikely. Okay. These are things where you're just trying to make quick money. And if you're trying to quick, quick money doesn't make money. Scared money doesn't make money. Fundamental vesting solves understanding the company, going in for long term and understanding when to pull profits. That's how you make money and generational wealth. I'll get off my soapbox. You want to hear the news. So Ripple, the distributed ledger company in the crosshairs of the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission, announces Friday that it has filed its initial response to the agency's lawsuit in federal court. We've all been waiting for this, right? The SEC sued Ripple last month, claiming its complaint that the company raised funds beginning in 2013 through the sale of digital asset known as XRP. It's an unregistered security offering to investors in the U.S. and worldwide. Market-facing firms across the crypto industry respond to a lawsuit delisting or suspending trading of XRP among their actions. So a lot of people got hurt in this space. There was a huge correction, right? And a lot of people FOMO'd out because of this, but some of us like a tick on a dog held on. But we want to know what's happening, right? The response filed Friday asserts that SEC lawsuit is premised on an unprecedented and all ill-conceived legal theory. The theory ignores, among many other things, that XRP performs a number of functions that are distinct from the functions of the security. As the law has understood the term for decades, for example, XRP functions as a medium of exchange or a virtual currency used today in the international and domestic transactions, moving value between jurisdictions and facilitating transaction. It is not a security and the SEC has no authority to regulate it as one. The firm wrote in an introduction of its 93-page response. Let me pause 
pause for just a moment. Those of you who are just jumping in just to get in because you've heard of XRP or you're jumping into Dogecoins, let me help you understand the real fundamental solve for XRP and why I'm so bullish on it and Ripple, why I ain't going nowhere. I'm an ex-banker. I was 12 years in banking. I was a vice president at a bank. I went through a CBA executive banking school, got a certificate in banking. I know how to scale banks from the ground up. The real world solve for XRP and XLM is remarkable. If you ran a bank or understand how to run a bank, your first thing as a banker is to mitigate risk if you own a bank. You have liquidity risk. You have uh, losing custody. There's all kinds of risk when it comes to banking. You need capital reserves and you need liquidity. What does Ripple do? It solves the liquidity issue. And banks right now are tapping into their capital reserves. Banks called fractional lending, they, they lend out a fraction of your deposit. They don't have your deposits, just so you know. The banks are in a massive liquidity crisis. XRP is the solve for that liquidity crisis. They provide on-demand liquidity, customer service. You won't even know that XRP is operating in the background, but you'll be able to provide amazing customer service. You'll be able to move $50 million from here to India in seconds for 30 cents. Okay, so let's, let's continue on. Concurrent with the court response, Ripple said that it submitted a Freedom of Information Act request with the SEC. Here's where the sh shit's going to hit the fan. Seeking information on several fronts, including a determination that Ether, the native cryptocurrency, and Ethereum network is not a security. And letters re uh, regarding Chinese control of Bitcoin and Ether. In the statement outlining Friday's, outlining Friday's action, Ripple said that... Although uh, though the legal process is slow, we are working to get it resolved as quickly as possible to bring clarity to the broader market. Moving quickly is important because, as you know, since the SEC filed the complaint, XRP lost almost half of its market value, causing retail holders of the XRP and no connection to Ripple that their people, the SEC, uh, purports to protect, or supposed to protect basically, to suffer billions of dollars in losses. What's more, part of the SEC mission is to maintain orderly markets, and yet their overreach uh, created havoc in the market, wrote S2 Alderly, Ripple's general counsel. So let me just repeat this sentence right here. Let me, re let, me breathe, uh, uh, let me breathe for a moment and then repeat this. Do you understand what this is going to do? Concurrent with the court response, Ripple said that it has submitted a Freedom of Information Act, okay, seeking information on several fronts, including a termination of Ether and the native cryptocurrency Ethereum network is not a security and the letters regarding Chinese control of Bitcoin and Ether. In a statement outloading Friday, Friday's action, Ripple said that though a legal process is slow, we are working to resolve quickly as possible to bring clarity to the broader market. I have been saying that this SEC lawsuit was by design to bring clarity to the market and bring regulation. Now let's take a deep breath and understand who is Ripple partnered with. I've taught you guys a lot about the World Economic Forum. Okay, Brad Garlinghouse has been there at the World Economic Forum. And if you look through this, who are they partnered with? You would think if something was going off, they would remove them from the World Economic Forum. Ripple is a partner of the World Economic Forum. Rationalize that. I've showed you the Davos 21 videos. Carbon neutral by 2050. Think about this, Warriors. They are partners with the World Economic Forum. They are the catalyst to bring in regulation to the cryptocurrency space. They have 20 lawyers working on this case. 20 high-profile lawyers working on this case, Warriors. This is historical things happening right now. So I just want to send you this really quick video, and then I'll just leave you with the Flare teaser video. I love this video. It's exciting. It gets me pumped up. The future is ours, Warriors. Let's watch together. <laughs> Your life is your life. Don't let it be clubbed into dank submission. Be on the watch. There are ways out. There is a light somewhere. It may not be much light, but it beats the darkness. Talk to 
to be about Flare Networks. Flare Networks. They're doing some very interesting stuff with something called the Spark Token. Be on the watch. The gods will offer you a chance to know them, take them. We don't choose to do this because it's easy. We choose to do this because we hard, we're hard. We are warriors bringing the uncommon 1% to the people warriors. We choose to do this because this is hard. We're not looking for quick money. We're looking to build that generational wealth for a lifetime warriors. We become the uncommon 1% so we can make the decision. So we can bring back God's money back to the people warriors. If you want to join our private warrior academy of over 500 warriors, nine different countries where we work together to bring ourselves to a higher consciousness, to open up our mind and awareness to this new fourth industrial revolution in the quantum financial system, click the, click the link down below and we will join and rise together, warriors. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me on CoachJV underscore on Instagram. I answer every single message. Warriors, rise. Let's go.